Hey what's up guys it's Alejandro here and today we're gonna be playing Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So last time we were here we got fed a bummer and Carl wasn't very happy and I don't think he even is happy to this point to this very point he's still mad about it um deep down but uh anyway um I'm gonna start the next mission 555 we tip It's fucked up. I can honestly say I wish you was here. Great. Be now careful you got what the you for. friend of mine, right? You know the one trying to get me and old officer Pulaski into trouble? Yeah. Why don't you put that up in his car and give we tip a call? Hey, motherfucker, the code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't give a fuck if it kills you, me, my brother. Street cats don't call no cops. Carl, he's a DA. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, where I go find him? He's at the Van Kauf Hotel in the financial. Oh, for sure. <coughs> okay. Bro, are you for real? The door was right there. Come on, man. We're gonna go set someone up we're gonna get them arrested for something they didn't do the hotel operates a valet service the DA will sh be dropping his car off here shortly Let's stay one step ahead of this a valet worker and just wait for him. He won't be suspecting me at all. Come on, time is money. It's your funeral, asshole. It's the best you got. Damn, we got a lot of money. I guess they pay well, don't they? And he's naked. Well, he has underwear on, so he's not fully naked, but I have his clothes now. And they just so happen to fit me perfectly. Alright. Ah, you must be the new boy. Get in line. Uh, the DA is driving a blue merit. Remember it. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get to finish reading it. Oh my god! All right. Well, gotta w watch out for a blue merit. <coughs> All right. I like how Carl's outfit is more detailed and the other ones look a little poly. Alright, that's not the car. that the blue merit can I steal it from him now can I just run over there and steal it from him? no no I'm not gonna steal it come here bud I'll take care of your car Parker over there nah I think I'm gonna park it somewhere else Alright, I have to not damage the vehicle. Or else I'm doomed. So, we're gonna go plant some weed in the back of this guy's car. The 
police do it all the time. Drugs are playing and take the car to the valet's car park. Keep the car spotless or the DA will notice. Yeah, um, DA means a uh, district attorney. But we just have to dumb it down because those words are just too too complicated for you guys to understand. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway. Um, let's head down there. I got tired already. Jesus. Hello? This we tip? I seen something highly suspicious you should come check out. Police! Don't move! Get out of the car with your hands in the air! Do you know who you're fucking with here? I'll have your badge, you moron! Shut up! You find anything back there? Found anything? He's got half of Mexico in here. Must be two tons of Mary here. What? But but I've never seen. How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy! Damn. <laughs> Carl's just sitting back and watching the show. And because of the Tenpenny mission, you get nothing. Um, Tenpenny hates you. You're a worthless pile of garbage. In his eyes. It's nothing personal, I'm just a criminal. Where are you going? Anyway, I'm gonna go I'm get gonna a get new clue, set of clothes. Oh shit, I didn't know someone was in the car still. A new store opened. Give me some new threads. Looking good. Damn, bro. Well, this is my new outfit um, for CJ. Um, he still has the um, red shoes because all these other safe houses that I earned throughout the story don't really have a wardrobe and I'm not buying a goddamn house just to get the wardrobe. I'm not going all the way to the very dangerous Los Santos just to change shoes. So he's just going to have to roll with the red shoes for now. Anyway, we have one more mission. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do it. Deconstruction. Oh no, this is a very evil mission. You're gonna see why. Hey, homies. What up, Carl? What the fuck is going on? Do I look like a hooker to you? What? Those assholes keep saying shit to me. Who said this to you? The construction workers up that hill. I'ma fuck them up. Nah, hold up. I got this. I need to go teach him a little respect, huh? That's right. Yeah. I've been thinking about getting me some new land anyway. Okay, let's go deal with these bastards. Scare off the construction firm. You might be thinking, what's so evil about scaring off the construction firm, bro? That's pretty light, um, if you think about it. No, 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 You're, just wait, alright? Destroy all the portables, you need a bulldozer. All right. My bad. There's explosives, you gotta watch out. Oh, come on, get away from me. What's so 
all that damn clatter. Holy crap, I didn't see nothing. Push the mobile toilet into the ditch. Then bury him under concrete. <laughs> see, guys? I told you it was evil. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> okay, that guy... That guy's an idiot. Uh, I don't even feel bad for him. He, 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 he had a kind of... <laughs> Alright. So what, you, what is even the point of this? Oh God. Oh, I'm gonna fall. I mean, if it's because he's a witness, um, what about like all the other guys that are still alive? Didn't your mommy love you? We didn't, I didn't kill everybody, I just destroyed the portables. I thought we were supposed to scare them off, we're just straight up <laughs> burying one alive. Yeah. Really, Carl? God damn, bro. That's crazy. So, um, moral of the story, um, misogyny is wrong. Don't do it. Treat women with respect. Otherwise, this guy might, uh, destroy everything. <laughs> and bury a foreman alive. Yeah, what? Yo, man! It's Jethro, dude! Hey, Jethro, what up? Well, I was talking to Caesar, and, uh, don't get me wrong, dude. I mean, you are one out there dude when it comes to driving, man. But Caesar, he told us how many cars you get through, dude. And me and Dwayne were like, whoa! What is your point, Jethro? No, no point, man, no point. Just that there's an advanced driving school, like, just up the road from the garage, man. Like in Doherty. Driving school? Man, exactly what you trying to say, man. Nothing, man, nothing. It was Dwayne's idea. I think you're, you know, cool and shit. I, I better go, CJ. I'll see you later. Ah, yes. The ongoing gag that the protagonist is a terrible driver. I don't think I'm that bad. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Obviously, I'm bad. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this um, episode. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and goodbye.